winning athletes and today's focus is on confident athletes consistently win and so the first thing is really congratulations for knowing something that you feel passionate about you want to excel at you want to do anything in the pursuit of excellence because most people don't have things that really fire them up their lives tend to be very status quo very vanilla whereas when you have something that you're passionate about your life ends up coming in all flavors it goes from the really high highs to the low lows as you're looking to really tweak and do whatever you need to do to really pursue excellence get in focus and get the results and there's five steps that I want to really look at to add to your physical conditioning so that you're able to have consistent winning results. And so let's go ahead and start with the first one. Number one is your race plan. Not only do you want to have a plan as to how you're going to physically show up, but you also want to know where you need to really be super focused you want to know what things might be distractions and how to deal with those. What do you need to do to get into the zone? And so when you plan for it, you're more likely to get the results you want. And let's look at number two. Executed. So that means that when you have your race plan and you have your race day, your event, your tournament, your competition, your game, whatever it might be, Stick with your plan as much as possible. You might need to make some small adjustments depending on conditions or other unforeseen things, but really stick with your plan and don't start second guessing yourself because that's going to really affect your concentration as well as your confidence and your ability to remain focused. Number three is evaluate. Therefore, after every single race, I want you to evaluate as to what worked well, what was going on and where you were really focused, but also look at when did you start to lose distraction? When did you become distracted? When did you lose focus? And how long did it take before you could get it back if you ever got it back? Journal that so you really become aware of where your strengths are as well as the areas that you need to train a little bit harder. And number four is insights so once you look at what happened during the race and you evaluate i want you to find at least one thing you can learn from every single race whether it was a really good race or one where you came in last but find one piece that you can take away from each and every experience so you can go ahead and build that into your strategy and your race plan and number five is apply it so when you get those insights and you're becoming more aware of where your strengths are and what needs to be strengthened, I want you to start to apply it to the next race that you go to. What is it that you didn't do before that you can do this time and have that be the one thing that you add in so you're continuing to really build up confidence and have more wins and consistently be able to get into the zone. If you're interested in the seven mistakes most athletes unknowingly make, go to my website, in a game for winningathletes.com, put your name and your email address in the upper right-hand corner, and you'll immediately get my free starter kit. I look forward to seeing you soon. Lauren Fogelman, in a game for winningathletes.com. More focus, more wins, and let me know how this works for you. I'd love to hear from you as to how it helped you with your results. Take care.